Hello, my name is John Chironde and in this video, I want to share with you a very simple technique that could help you shift if you're having a bad day. I've been on this path, on the spiritual path for about eight years. And during that time, the first three, maybe four, I was researching, meditating, astral projecting. I was practicing day in and day out. I knew I was on to something and I set out to prove it for myself, to myself. Now, in 2013, I experienced what Neville Goddard calls ascension. And it changed my life. It just changed everything. Everything changed. My energy changed. My ability to manifest changed, but not immediately. It took a period of time for me to realize what really changed. If you're watching this video, you probably already know who Never Goddard is. But in case you don't, please run to the internet and search for him. My biggest takeaway from studying Neville has been there's nothing quite as expensive as thought. <laughs> thought is so powerful because it opens doors. There are doors in our imagination that are activated in very, very specific ways. And if you do activate these doors, you will have access to fantastic information. And when you do get it, you'll be under compulsion to share it with the world. About five years ago, I had this mystical experience. I found myself lucid in a dream. They're really visions. They're very, very specific visions that are meant to teach you something, all right? The being you really are is pure consciousness and he or she can use the tool that is sleep to help you learn something you wouldn't ordinarily learn on this level. You know what I mean? So I found myself flying through the sky. I was flying through the sky. I literally was the sky. I couldn't feel anything. I had no matter. I was just a consciousness, a 360 degree awareness. I could see through the top of my head. I could see through the sides, through the ears, through where I thought the ears would be. They were not really there. I had no body. I had no head. But I could see all around me and I could feel everything. I was the clouds. All right. Now, of course I was confused. Where is my body? Right? The second I asked that question, where is my body? A body crystallized around me. It just formed around me. One second I had no body, the next second I had a body. Just like that. I learned from that experience that we are far greater than what we currently think we are. On this level, on the physical level, you experience having a physical body. But I'm telling you that when Neville Goddard says that imagination is buried in the skull of man, it's quite literally true. I'm convinced that that 360 degree awareness is currently locked down in what the world calls the pineal gland, which is an eye from what I understand. It's an eye that is facing upwards. All right. Now, the body then seems to proceed from the head going downwards. Basically, you experience walking around on earth, viewing everything from this angle. Everything is front facing. You can't see through the back of your head or so you think. This is not reality. It's not truth at all. You are an infinite being and you don't stop being an infinite being when you are in a physical body. Yes? Now, let's say you're having a bad day. 
and maybe you got some bad news. Usually, your mind will go on and on and on about that thing and you'll have a very strong feeling, usually in your heart or in your tummy. It's usually one of the two. Now, what you don't realize is that the being you really are has nothing to do with the physical body. And this, these feelings that you're having are registering at a completely different level, independent of the physical shell. Yes? Now, that infinite consciousness exists within you, but also exists outside of you. We are told that the soul is inside the body, right? It's actually a bit more complicated than that. The body is inside the soul. The closest access you have to the energy of the soul, okay, when you are in your physical body walking around, would be what the world calls the aura, which is simply an extension of your imaginal energy. If you learn how to tune into your aura by just imagining it, you literally imagine a layer of energy around your skin, around your entire body from head to toe. Yes? Now, when you close your eyes and tune into that energy field, you're going to realize something. You can actually feel it. And not only can you feel it, you know it has nothing to do with your physical body. So if you're having a bad day and these feelings are registering in your heart or in your tummy, all you need to do is move back into expansiveness. Okay? This is what you do. You tune into your aura and you literally push it outwards with your intention. You push it outwards and it becomes larger and larger and larger and larger until the, it, it, feels as though you're, it feels as though the energy is touching the walls, okay? If you're out in nature, of course it would be touching, you know? What's going to happen is this. The energy that was registering in your heart or your tummy is going to be pushed out with it, all right? Now, you want to do this for about 30 seconds to one minute. You don't want to overdo it because you, you'll end up feeling weak. When you push out that energy, everything that had accumulated in your heart or in your tummy will go out with it and you'll get instant relief. Because these emotions were not registering in the physical body at all. They were registering in what the world calls the emotional body or the astral body or the imaginal self. Okay? Now, not only can you push it out, you can literally transmute the, the dark energy that has gone out of you into whatever you want. Air or light. I usually prefer light. I imagine that I've pushed out energy and then I mentally transmute it by just saying love and light, love and light, while visualizing that that energy is turning into golden light. Once you've done this for about a minute, and you feel relief, you then intend for the most positive energy to return to you, okay? The expansiveness just brings you in contact with that 360 degree awareness. Then, when you're bringing that energy back, you are simply contracting, you're simply creating a body, an inner body that will crystallize inside or around your physical body. You see what I mean? When you bring the energy back, you're going to feel fantastic. Especially if the energy you bring back, you intend that I am bringing back the most positive energy in the universe. The universe is you. You are reaching inside of yourself 
and calling forth the most positive energy in the universe. And that is love and that is light. Alright? This works anywhere. It could be in public somewhere, it could be, you know, meditating in nature or something. It works. It will help you have options. Once you shift into relief, once you've pushed all that energy out there and realize that you are now free from it, you can now do revisions, you can do uh, conscious creation, you can imagine your wish fulfilled and create the reality that you want. I'm going to share techniques on how to do that in future videos, so you, you're going to want to subscribe. You know what I mean? And ring that little bell next to the subscribe button such that you get notifications whenever I upload a video. Now, I teach this stuff every day to so many different people. My teachings are based on Neville Goddard, who I think is one of the greatest mystics of all time. Now, you're going to learn while you're on this journey that there's no such thing as a lazy conscious creator. Learning the theory is one thing. You have to put it in practice. You have to organize your energy. I'm going to in the coming videos, I'm going to share with you what changed after I completed what Neville Goddard calls the promise. I didn't realize the change immediately. It took about four years to realize exactly what had happened to my energy. I'm also going to show you what the promise is and why it's more important than the law. And we're also going to have some fun on the channel. You know, there'll be music, there'll be vlogs, there'll be anything I'm in the mood for. I would also appreciate any suggestions that you might have for future videos. I would strongly consider them and do my best to create them for you. All right, that's it for today. I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.